what do you think the the criticism around well, obviously very origin time of the year the criticism around Tedesco and your you playing that back three do you reckon his criticisms been fair from game one as a former Queensland great now 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 I think it's so funny that um for for a player that's dominated the game for so long that how quick everyone can change on him and and the respect that you know, everyone forgets about um you know, it's it's kind of sad to see because you know he still comes out and he's still probably one of the most feared players in my eyes when I, mean, I come against the roosters i'm like fuck like all we talk about is yeah. tedesco you can't you can't just go out and get him because he's, he's just so flighty and, and i think that um i think queensland understand how good he is mm. and i think the public still kind of don't and and they've kind of forgotten that bit but um as a back three like it will be, a, it'll be honestly, honestly a big honour to, to play against or play with someone like that and, and have that kind of calibre. And um, you saw what he did in the World Cup. You know, he, led, he led them um, to you know, obviously win the World Cup. And there's kind of attributes that no one sees, I think. I think he's a, he's a dominant leader within their group. Like, he's not one to come out, be Larry and, and all that jazz. And I, th I feel like he's much like Waiter, right? Like, doesn't he say much? It's just when they talk, you listen, yeah, and, and he's. Got, I think that's the kind of leadership that he brings into those camps and and within those players, and brings the best out of the players. So uh, I so, think. Yeah. So if you're lining up for Queensland, as you could have back in the day, um, what fullback wouldn't you want to see out of? Because obviously, like this is probably the biggest selection headache that Origins ever had ever. Like you, normally, you know who's coming straight in, but in terms of fullbacks, you got Tommy Turbo there, Latrell's yeah. coming back, and Teddy. Would Teddy be the one you wouldn't want back there? Yeah, Teddy. 100%. Like, uh, I just feel like he's, he's those guys, he's one of those players that just pop up everywhere. Like, you know, he, and he's got that, um, that ability just to run 200, 300 metres and, and eat up the middle. And when we play the Roosters as well, like, if he gets going, man, like, he just brings their middles to life. He brings their whole team to life. And, and yeah. that's the thing that kind of hurts you and you're just on the back foot the whole time. So, I what think with the balance, of shape. I yeah. think with the balance of that, but, um, you know, it allows you with those three you just said, Turbo and Latrell and Teddy it allows you to get all three into the into the team, right? Which is a big. It's always been a strength of ours when those three guys play together. Um, there's no doubt we miss Latrell and how you know, powerful he can be and how dynamic he can be out of the backfield. Mm. And and because we didn't execute, I just think we weren't connected that well in, in game one. No, like we didn't. It looked like we were playing the power game and trying to play fast, which actually ended up hurting us a little bit because we didn't quite execute um, our moments. We saw in the first half like Teddy. You know, nine times out of ten, he passes to the fox there, and, and he scores. Yeah, that's weird, right? Yeah. Because we're all, we're all, I reckon we're just a bit overspeed in our minds, and just we just weren't a hundred percent connected across the park. It, it hurt us. I, I feel like they'll be in better shape for the run in game two. Although it is a, it's a big ask going up to Suncorp. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs>